Okay, this is a Kenmore 1931, which is different from the 1913, but not terribly. Um, it has the stitch width knob right there and your stitch selector. Now, um, your stitch selector knob does seem to be not working correctly. Um, we'll have to see why it's not doing this. Oh, um, it's the little part that's supposed to um, make it stop uh, at each thing. You've got a pivot point probably that's uh, preventing that from working and or sometimes your spring can get stretched out too much but um, the springs cannot pull back against sticky pivot points so that's probably what's wrong with your stitch selector why it's not doing the moves like this that it's supposed to be doing uh, you'll uh, need to find the specific pivot point and it can actually if you're this is if this area up in here is too um, uh, frozen it will prevent the stitch selector um, stuff from working right because they all work interwork together your little um, your cam followers move up and down from different uh, ones you know and so uh, making sure all the areas in here are cleaned up is going to be important uh, just as much as the zigzag mechanism for freeing up your um, uh, stitch selector part so that it'll work right. But see how that's jumping. It's pivoting with each of those. And see there's a little, little spring in there you can see. We're working with different parts, but uh, but all of the pivot points of that have to be cleaned up and uh, oiled to the point that they're able to move freely and the springs are able to hold that back into those little sections. That's, that's why it's not, uh, why your stick selector doesn't seem to be attached or, and or working right. It like, seems like there's a spring missing. There could actually be, like if this had broken or come off, that would make your stitch selector behave the way it is. But if it's not that, more than likely, it's because you have sticky points, um, pivot points that are, the sticky part is stronger than what the springs can pull back against. Um, and uh, one thing to be aware of when you're cleaning the machines, don't worry about oil in places that don't move. Um, yes, you can clean those areas if you want to, but the parts that are supposed to move against each other are where you need to focus your oiling and cleaning um, on your stitch width knob. As you're turning it back and forth, you're not going to have a lot going on over here where you should have stuff going on is up behind here. If you look down in there, notice how that slides up and down that's got to slide up and down and usually there is an actual sliding uh, area in there that needs you probably need to clean an oil if it's not um, if it is not sliding easily and allowing it to move and the pivot points of each of those um, have to be done but you're not going to see a lot of movement over here I'm turning my needle bar back and forth from the full that is from from straight stitch to the widest zigzag that is all the further that is going to move that's all it is supposed to move that's the full width so um it's not so much in there that that seems it's not so much there that seems to be a problem at the moment um although if you can get your zigzag um set to the widest set set your stitch to the to the widest zigzag stitch and if you can turn your hand wheel and get your needle over to the left side of your um oh i don't have it on i have to put the stitch selector back on straight stitch and zigzag to show you this <laughs> i'd left it on one of the special stitches okay anyway so let's see get it over to the left side and then while the needle is in that left position, can you do this? 
when you have that needle in the left, furthest left position with the widest zigzag setting. If you can do this, then you've got all this stuff freed up and it's not the problem. Um, so then you look in here and it will be cleaning up the linkages in here, especially the ones down there. And you may need to take the side of your machine off to access those ones because you need to get, make sure those parts can move freely. That whole linkage has to be able to slide up and down in there. I hope that helps.